Now, is it a victory against big pharmaceuticals or a long-term loss? India's Supreme Court has ruled that the drug company Novartis can't patent an updated version of a cancer drug. Campaigners say it means poor people will still be able to get access to cheaper generic forms of life-saving treatment. But Novartis called it a setback for patients and said it would no longer invest in further drug research in India. Our science editor Tom Clark reports. In poor countries, the price of a drug can be the difference between life and death. And according to campaigners, the supply of cheap drugs risked being shut off after leading drug firm Novartis took India's government to court for ripping off one of its leading cancer medicines, Gleevec. But today, in India's Supreme Court, Novartis lost. Novartis's appeal has been dismissed. Supreme Court says that Whichever standard you adopt to interpret Section 3D, Novartis's product, Gleevec, does not constitute for patent in India. It's a major victory in an ongoing battle between health campaigners and big drug companies over patents. India has become the world's leading manufacturer of generic drugs for the developing world. Generics are copies of medicines for which patents have expired or are not recognised, and they're much cheaper than the originals. Gleevec works by blocking the binding of a substance called adenosine triphosphate, or... A Novartis lost after the court decided Gleevec didn't qualify for a patent in India, saying minor changes to the original drug meant it didn't constitute a new medicine. According to campaigners, if Novartis had succeeded, other drug companies could have used similar patent-extending techniques to prevent India from making cheaper copies of their drugs too. It's hugely significant because 8 million people living with HIV are on treatment from India. More than 80% of these 8 million people get the drugs from India. Uh, what the decision means that at least for the time being, the drugs that are going to these 8 million people are safeguarded. Novartis responded today that if they can't protect their intellectual property, drug firms won't develop new medicines in India. But today's ruling suggests in the emerging economies of Asia, Big Pharma may not be lavished with the protection they've so long enjoyed in the West.